It is a problem for half of all women in this country. They're unsightly veins that make you feel self, un, you know, self-conscious when you're wearing a swimsuit or skirt, even shorts. Yeah, so we're going to help you get a leg up on that. Make sure those pesky veins disappear with the help of board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Dr. Cindy Bay. Bay. So Hello, nice to Dr. See. Bay. Nice to see you too. You? Good. How are you? So people have spider veins and people have varicose veins. What would you say is the difference just between those two? That's such a good question. So the difference is really about the size. Spider yeah. veins are really small, about a millimeter in size, sort of like a grain of salt. Right. Whereas varicose veins, they're much bigger. They're like marbles if you want to compare. Oh, and they can be painful they too, right? They can be right? painful. Your legs can be swollen yeah. and achy, whereas spider veins are mostly a cosmetic problem. All right, so if you were going to describe some, that's genetic a lot of times, right? Uh, there varicose is a genetic veins. predisposition. So yes. we actually have a way we can explain to people what the difference is between a normal vein and a varicose vein. Yes, so the best way to understand why we develop varicose veins is to think about the valves in our veins. Mm -hmm. So these valves are there to make sure blood goes back to your heart and it doesn't dribble back down. So why don't one of you guys grab one of the normal veins and okay. try putting blood into um, putting these the veins in here? Right, so that you okay, can so see you it doesn't it dribble to... down, right. right? Because the valves in this one yeah. are functioning properly. Right. So here, Kathy, grab this one. Uh -huh. This is a varicose vein. So when you put blood into this vein, that you can right see down, it goes right yeah. down because the valve see is not happening? working. Yeah. Right, feel that. This is yeah. what a varicose vein is like. Ooh. They're stretched, they're tortuous, they're distorted. Yeah, they're uncomfortable. Right, so yeah. this Everything. is what a varicose okay. vein is. But they have new things they can do now, right? Absolutely. Right, first, okay. let's talk home remedies because sometimes you think, I've got stuff in my house. Let's see if any of these home remedies work. So right. what do yeah. we have? Absolutely. So have you guys heard of cypress oil? Cypress oil? No. Yeah, I haven't either, but some people have asked me about it. Okay. So let me ask you. Does it work or not work for varicose veins? Cypress oil? You know why I say it doesn't? Because we've never heard of it before and yes. everybody tells us everything. That's very yes. logical, <laughs> yes. So it actually doesn't work. Okay. We just went over that varicose veins is a problem with the valves inside the veins. Oh. So a topical treatment won't affect the underlying cause, okay. right? What about like a compression sock, something that squeezes like it? Like they put you in after surgery. Yeah. Right. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you think it works yeah. or not work? It would I seem would like know. likely, if there was something that would work, I would think that might help. Right, so it's actually a good prevention, but it's not a treatment by ah. itself. Oh, okay. So people who have jobs where they're, you know, standing for long periods feet. of time. Yeah. And uh, let me guess, traveling. is apple cider vinegar a no-go? You guys know now, right? Oh, no-go. Oh, no doesn't go. work. And doesn't this work. is so good for so many other things, well, let's, though. Let's show the right way what, to get rid of. What does work? Let's, right, so the right way to get so rid of cool. spider Are you guys ready to finally yes. see what works? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's talk about sclerotherapy. Oh, what is that, that amazing? Wow. So this is a procedure where we put a medicine into what the is spider the vein. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of different types oh, we can okay. use. But look at it, it look at it. is it causes <gasps> the vein to get oh, sticky they just disappear. and collapse. It's Absolutely. like an eraser. Oh, yeah. bye, goodbye. It's painful? Do you get numbed beforehand? Nope, it's not painful. Okay. Just a little pinch. A little prick. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. All right, will you show us varicose veins, what works? Absolutely. So there's a procedure called EVLT. It yeah. stands for endovenous laser Therapy, and this is my patient Mary. You see, she's awake. Yeah, she's she's with us, and we're numbing her up for the procedure because it's essentially painless. Well, then so why are you numbing her up if it's numbing painless? her up so that she doesn't feel any oh, discomfort? Oh, yeah. painless after right. you're numbed. Gotcha. Right, but this is in comparison to the older treatments like vein stripping, which were very painful with downtime yes. and needed general anesthesia. <laughs> yeah, this is it, wow. it stands for endovenous laser therapy, where we use a laser to heat the inside of the vein to seal it shut. So there's and no downtime. Either. Dr. Bay. Whoa. You roasted. Good news for everybody. All right.